Hey, we did a video the other day where I was getting rocks out of my driveway. It was more just an enjoyment of the first warm day of the year for me, but <laughs> that video brought up so many questions that I realized I needed to go a little bit deeper into that. So today we're going to try this combi system with three new experiments. First thing is probably 200 comments, seemed like anyway to me, suggested that we turn the shield over and we pull the flapper wheel or the power sweep, I think it's called, toward us. They thought it would be easier to use that way. So we're going to try that. Also, we got the wheel kit from sweeperwheels.com or something like that. Name right here. Tell you more about that in a minute. And we're going to try the bristle broom. Let's get started. Well, I can tell you right off the top of my head, this works a lot easier. It doesn't have near the strain on my arm. Now, clearly it wasn't designed to work like this, because I have to run the handle upside down here to make it work like that. But it's doing a wonderful job. We got them all the way out here. Now, this is entirely workable, I like guess. Right, if I go a little bit of an angle like this, I keep from whipping them back out on the areas that I've already cleaned. All the way out here. Darn garbage truck. Couldn't find the driveway, even though I've made it two foot wider. Well, to, to get this thing configured to go in reverse, it really wasn't that hard. All I had to do was flip over this um, shield here, a couple of torques, and I didn't even have to take it off. You could just flip it over. And the other thing is to turn the head over, and then it's ready to go. So it's a little unorthodox. It clearly wasn't designed to work this way. But it works, and it's a tremendous improvement. Thanks for the uh, comments on that. Let's try another solution. Okay, so the next solution I've got here are the new sweeper wheels. Sweeperwheels.com. Perry, the owner of this small company, saw the video from the other day and took pity on me, and he said, I'll just send you a couple of sets of these wheels. We're going to try one here on this bristle broom, and then we'll try it on the power sweeper. Now, the only way these wheels work is if I'm in the forward spinning position. So I'm unable to show you the wheels and the reverse spinning approach at the same time. Let's see what it does. Now, I find these bristles just too hard to push entirely. Well, I'm rolling now. It's not going so bad now. The wheels are a huge help. Now, we're not on the power sweep, so I'm not exactly apples to apples, but wow. Now, I've got the beam here lower because that's when the wheels are at their lowest point. If I raise this beam up, it'll watch it shoot back. The wheels come off of the ground and it'll shoot back. So I have to keep them down like that. I have three different speeds. I really think the lowest speed is probably the easiest for me. I think you're dethatching at the same time. I think so too. This is doing an equivalent job, if maybe just a tad better. I'm not leaving any rocks because I'm dethatching, as you say, but I'm not 
taking up any grass by the root. But if you can tell by the way I'm breathing, it's a lot more work. Let's put the wheel kit on and try the power flapper sweeper going forward. There are a lot of rocks over here, Christy. Yeah. This must have been where Chris worked. Ha! Ah. Couldn't have been me putting all these out here. Hey, uh, this is our third option. We've got the sweeper wheels on it now, and I've got them in their lowest hole. Now, one thing I want you to see is in, in both of the cases where I've had the wheels on, I have not been wearing this uh, harness, and that is because I want to put this down low. The wheels don't go quite low enough to suit me, and the only way I can get them lower is to lower the, the whole boom. Wow, that's a huge help. Hey, look at that, it'll push leaves. Yeah. Well, there's something more pleasing about going forwards than going backwards. I wish I could describe it. It does uh, push a little bit harder. I actually have to use my arms where when I'm going backwards, I didn't feel like I was using much arm strength at all. Now I'm still not using a whole lot of arm strength. I still like the lowest speed, I believe. Okay, summary. Overall ease of use, easy on my heart. Actually, who's, who's to say which is best on my heart, right? Maybe getting a little more exercise would probably be better on my heart. But anyway, the easiest for me to handle is going backwards. However, that's kind of awkward with the way this thing works because you have to turn the head upside down. Uh, at least I believe you have to do that. If you guys have a solution to to keep from turning the head upside down and still go backwards, let me know. The wheel kit is a close second. I really like this. Uh, it helped dramatically over not having the wheels. It took the project from not doable to doable for me. The bristle brush probably did a better job than the power sweep, but I actually think I like the power sweep better because it pushes easier to me. The bristle brush actually pushes harder, so I, I, don't, I don't think I'll go with that. And it also pulled a lot more thatch out of the yard and just kind of made more of a mess as far as I was concerned. So that's my take on these three items. And you know, the unfortunate thing is, is I should have got three or four more people over here to help with this and, and make them test maybe 100 foot each, and we would have been done with this whole project. But it didn't work out that way, did it, Christy? You no. know, Christy, you need to try this. You need to try all three of these. I'll try the one with the wheels. Okay. I thought we were gonna close this video, but now we have a new contestant. I think that's a man's job. Well, I guarantee you, you would not have been able to do that without the wheel kit on there. Probably not. I tell you what, I think we've got just enough daylight left. Let's take the wheels off and reverse it and see if you can handle that.
That would take some getting used to, but it's definitely doable, and it's the an easiest way to get the rocks out. Yeah, well, what I saw was is that you did a nice big path here without stopping. So yeah. this wasn't really over your ability. And no. this is really the first approach that I've seen that's not over your ability on this yeah. on this unit. Um, I think I would be better off without the backpack. The backpack's really heavy for me. Good point. We should talk about that in just a second. The uh, backpack is the 1000 battery, the AR1000 battery. And I think that means the all day battery for most people. For us, it's the all year battery. We've yeah. charged this battery one time. Wow. And we're still running on one charge. Uh, for us and our application, it's overkill. Yeah. Um, the 300, AP300S batteries that we use in our chainsaw can run this thing. And will be much lighter. Yeah, now they don't fit back here. They fit on a, on a, a belt or whatever that you wear, but you could put one battery on a time Okay. You still have your little cord from that battery uh, here. But I think for us, that's all we would need. Yeah, we don't, we're not going to be out using this. We'll hours share the on same end. set of, and this one's fairly heavy. I mean, it's, it's wearable. If somebody were working commercially, it's probably. Oh, sure. Uh, but it'd have to be a younger person than me because there's no way I can run this battery out. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our plug in? We can plug it into ourselves. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, Christy, I'll go in and. Uh, Nope. Edit some video and... Nope. Video editing is my job. You know, Christy, I think it's getting dark. It's probably time for dinner. Yeah, that's fine. You okay, buying? that works. That works. The grass will grow up here and cover up the rest of these rocks and nobody yeah. will care. Right. <laughs> no, we'll get some more of them out. Uh, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. We're just meaning to have a little bit of fun with this, but also... Uh, based on all the questions we saw in that first episode, it seemed like something that might be interesting to folks to see a little more about it. You know the unfortunate part, there was no tractor in this video. Right. And all the comments that said just use a broom for Vin the Ventrac or just use the broom on the front of Johnny, I don't have a broom for either one of them. No, it'd be nice. Yeah, it'd be nice. Send us one. Yeah. Maybe someday, but th the truth is, is this is not, this is like a, a once every two year project. I mean, this was a huge snow we had. Yeah, we don't get much snow. We don't get anything like that, uh, where we would need to, to plow as often as we did and, and uh, you know, as aggressive as we did. We, I mean, we pushed the snow way out there, as you saw, so. Hey, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and Christy will go ahead and finish while I go in and sit on the couch. And we'll see you next time on... Tractor Time with Tim. You didn't say it. Rock clearing time with Christy. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs>